As states, including Tennessee, work now to reopen, the Senate has now passed a $480 billion stimulus bill to help small businesses, hospitals, and testing efforts. Reporter Karen Kafa now has more. Time. The bill as amended is passed. A $480 billion package for small business, hospitals, and testing now moves from the Senate to the House. The intent of this money was not for big public companies. Aiming for the president's desk by the end of the week and teeing up a debate over how much more relief may be needed. For anyone who thinks this is the last train out of the station, that is not even close to the case. And I think it's also time to begin to think about the amount of death that we're adding to our country and the future impact of that. As states work out safe ways to reopen, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo says he had a productive meeting with President Trump at the White House with testing at the core. We agreed that a state government, the state government should be responsible for managing the actual tests in their own laboratories. Some governors are already giving businesses green lights. They're moving along pretty quickly. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp facing heat for signing off on businesses like gyms, nail salons, and barber shops allowed to open this Friday. We've been very clear in the guidelines, and I think it's up to the governors and mayors to ensure that they're following the best they can each of those phases. In Washington, Karen Katha, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Karen, thank you. Tennessee Senator Lamar Alexander releasing a statement after the Senate vote tonight saying the money will, quote, help keep paychecks coming to hundreds of thousands of workers in Tennessee and across the country. Since the government has temporarily shut down the economy because of this disease, the government must help those who are hurt by it, end quote.